peeps what's the deal um today's video is a uh, it's a bit different i'm not considering it a vlog it's something i'm going to be doing once a week from now on um because obviously i film all my training sessions and uh, i don't really get a chance to put it in with decent content so i'm going to be doing this uh once a week for every training session that i don't get into a vlog or into a content video, I'm gonna put it in something called a training recap. So this is the first training recap. So what you're gonna be seeing is a bench press day, a squat day that I was very angry for, and a military press day from yesterday. Um, so three training sessions, uh, I'll probably put a bit of commentary over it, um, and see how it goes, really. It's nothing, it's nothing too major, not expecting a huge amount of entertainment, I'm more doing it uh, for myself, so I actually have all my training sessions uploaded so I can use them as reference when I'm looking back on uh, what I did before in my training, you know, um, and people are following the channel and they want to see what I'm doing for training, uh, this will be a bit more in depth, or in depth um, into the programming and the training sessions as opposed to entertaining and having the lols, alright, um, so enjoy. Peeps, what's the deal? Um, you're now looking at a bench press day from Tuesday, so I'm going 3 by 10 with 65% of a 1 rep max, so I've got 85 kilos on the bar here for my working sets. As you can see, I'm actually pausing for a second, not here, but usually pausing for a second on each rep, and my heels are flat to the floor, which they haven't been before, um, which is how I bench in a competition if I was competing. Um, so really working on that, getting my knees below my hips is another big thing, so that's coming together, quite happy with that, even though the weight has uh, been reduced significantly. Then I moved on to floor press, the secondary movements is my main assistance movement, um, do it with chains, so it's lighter at the bottom, heavier at the top, uh, did four sets of six, really helping the lockout here. Um, started at 100 kilos of the chains, then went to 90, 80, 70, and so on. Then, I believe I moved on to dips, yeah, so it was five sets of eight, I think, on dips. Um, another assistance movement to uh, help the bench press, building the chest and triceps and uh, developing strength there. Uh, then, after that, moved on to pulling work, so it was pull-ups, it was four sets of ten. And I supersetted these with uh, banded scarecrows, which you've seen me doing before, which... Uh, Really the only exercise I felt really, really isolate the uh, the upper back and rear delts here. So really helping any shoulder prehab or problems you may have. Then on the single iron dumbbell rows, with these I really concentrate on pulling with the elbows and uh, really feeling it on the lats. Um, don't go particularly heavy, these are only 35, I think they're 37s, uh, the dumbbells. Did four sets of 10, really feel it in the lats which I used to do them a lot and didn't didn't really just swing in the weight and getting it up and um, then I finished on tricep extensions with a cable to finish off did three drop sets of this uh, literally just an isolation exercise to build size in the triceps because getting stronger you do need a bigger muscle to get stronger especially in powerlifting so it does no harm and uh, looks good in t-shirt did three sets here, probably went a bit too heavy to start with, as you can see the technique is a bit shit, but I was feeling it at the time, so it's all good. Bought a monster before the leg day, and you're just seeing a few shots here from the static box jumps. So did six sets of two. Then we were on to the back squats, so these sets of squats, I did three sets of ten again with 65%, and this is obviously squats on Wednesday the day after bench, um, these squats really, really, they gave me a lot of trouble to be honest, um, maybe it was because I rushed my warm up or whatever it was, um, they ju I just didn't feel good doing them, you know, and it really pissed me off because this is the kind of weight that I just throw around on regular occasion, but I've been really looking on honing in technique and all the rest, but you can see here I'm not even hitting as much depth as I usually would, um, hitting parallel, but usually I go slightly below that. Um, so I was feeling a bit tight, but still, it could be the shoes, it could be anything. Maybe it was just feeling bad on the day. Um, so after this, I went on to a front squat, which I was very pissed off for as a result of the back squats being so annoying. So stacked the bar, 140 kilos, five reps. Um, 
big PR at this body weight. I don't think I've squatted 140 kilos in the front squat um, since I was like 105, 106 kilos. So yeah, close to being 10 kilos lighter and um, hitting the same weight. So happy enough, even though it was quite painful. Um, yeah, you can see, struggling through, grinding it out, rack the bar and puke all over the floor. Took a moment to myself there. Then a bit of single leg work, so worked on Bulgarian split squats with a straight bar. So very light, 25, 30 kilos. Um, going to depth here, feeling a stretch on the, ha on the uh, hip flexor. And yeah, it's always good to include single leg work on your squat days or any lower body day really. Um, after that, I finished up on a sort of a Metcon with kettlebell swings, so did 10 swings straight into 30 to 40 meter sprints on the Prowler and um, just went five rounds continuous without stopping and I got through it you know this is one of the later sets so not really sprinting that much just trying to get through it this is the next day now this is on the weekend this is the overhead press day so I'm working again with 65% of one rep max three sets of 10 and so that's 52.5 kilos wasn't going to failure here. That's not the point of this program, really. Uh, at this point, it's just building volume with moderate weight. Um, so I got through these sets. Overhead press is feeling pretty good at the moment. Obviously, they're different shots from uh, all three sets. After that, I moved on to a seated dumbbell press, shoulder press. Um, I think I need to be doing more shoulder work, to be honest. Uh, probably one of my weakest points is uh, my shoulders, not in terms of strength, but definitely in terms of size. So looking to add a bit of size here, did uh, three sets of eight here. And after that, I did three sets of 10 to 12, I believe, on an incline dumbbell press. Again, I was fairly fatigued at this point after going quite high volume on two pushing movements. So wasn't huge on the weight, I think it's like 30, 35 kilo dumbbells and literally just controlling it and uh, feeling the muscle wasn't really going for any rep records here to be honest. After that moved on to pulling, so you can see in the last session I did pull up, so now I'm doing a horizontal pull, so I'm doing barbell rows on a set of pins and a squat rack it just means I'm not swinging the weight I can actually rest it on the pins and then really concentrate on contracting my lats and pulling with the elbows so I think I did five sets of 12 and um, not going a huge amount of variety on the pulling movements at the moment keeping it very basic and just fucking going hard on them after that I did some upper back work with uh, the cable here so I'm doing face pulls on the cable I did five sets to more or less fails so 15 didn't really go any higher than 15 reps and a very low amount of rest and um, again it's Christmas Day so I'm doing hammer curls with 25 kilos here and um, it was the last exercise of the day uh, just to get a pump build some size in the areas you want to build size in guys that's the video thanks a million for watching and um, I hope you somewhat enjoyed it and got through it I condensed a lot of the training down um, so I'll probably be putting one of these recaps out every week for whatever footage I don't get to put in a vlog or whatever.